This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Scott versus Biznoff. You all are engaged and have been together for 10 years, but your wedding plans are on hold until you find out whether or not Mr. Biznoff is cheating. Please tell me why you've initiated this case. I am here today because I do not believe that David has been faithful. I believe that he has been lying to me, that he has been cheating, and uh, even though he says that he isn't, I believe I know that he is. We have two kids together. Um, we've been engaged since 2014. Oh, um, but I refuse to wear the ring until I know that he's being true, that what we have is real. So you are here for answers, and you feel so firmly that he's not being truthful with you that you are not even wearing your engagement ring. Right. You just have it. Where do you have it? Where do you keep it? Um, I, I don't know. It's been that long. I have to go dig it out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mr. Biznar, because of what she's accusing you of, she doesn't even wear her ring, doesn't even know where it is. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Being Makes accused... me feel not good at all. It's been, you know, we first met each other and uh, it was love at first sight. I, I try to prove myself time after time after time. Besides coming here, I offered to go pay for a lie detector test on my own so I could get this out of the way because it's holding our love and uh, us moving forward in our future. All right. Miss Scott, why do you think he's cheating? Well, one, when it comes to him working for a rideshare company, mm -hmm. on a regular, he'll get dressed normally, he's gonna be driving all day, he'll be comfortable, and he'll go to work, which is fine. But this particular day, he got all dressed up, fancy, blinged out to drive. Um, I was trying to reach out to him, trying to call him. He was not answering. Uh, the one time he actually picked up his phone, he's, like, all excited and hyped, like, yeah, it's lit in Saratoga. I'm so busy, I can't talk to you. I have to call you back. Wow. Um, I didn't speak to him for the rest of that night. Um, he didn't come to the house that night. So he was busy driving? Right, he was working. And what's wrong with him looking nice for his job? I mean... There's nothing wrong with it. It just seemed out of character. Is it okay if I show you when, um, when I did see him the next day? Um, I'd like to show you over here sure. on the screen. Step over to the monitor, okay. please. So I go through his phone. Finally, he comes. I ask him where he was, and he just said he was at his mom's, but I didn't believe him. So I went to his maps on his phone uh, uh -huh. to see if I could see where he was. Um, there was no history. It was no location. There was... The location was disabled. He wasn't there. So he told you where he was, but you didn't believe him? No. Because it's been disabled. Right. And one, why is it disabled? Uh -huh. And two, so I further investigated. He was working. So I went to the, the Drive app, and I went to go see how much money he made, the rides in Saratoga, you know, and there was zero dollars and zero And that was the day he said he was working all day, right? Yeah. There were no trips. There was no money made that day. So that's another thing that was like, what's that about? No money, no trips, no time online, no yeah. toll, no nothing. Zero, 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 zero. Yes. And this is the same day, Mr. Cutler, mm -hmm. that he was dressed and blinged out. Mm-hmm. But, and oh. he never All went right. to work. Can I explain what happened Yeah, that day? please, Mr. Biscoff. All right. So that particular day, we got into a heated argument. And it came to a point where she started putting some of my clothes in the bag. So I said I was gonna leave, because our arguments always get heated. Why do you have zero and you told her you were working? That's what I want to know. She, she kept calling me, calling me, calling me after you just told me to leave the house and don't come back. So instead of coming back or answer the phone and make more problems, I told her I was actually working, that I'm in Saratoga, because there's time that she just showed up out of nowhere at where I'm at. And I didn't want no confrontation. And that's why I have doubt and trust but, issues and concerns. It, this doesn't make any sense. She put you out. It's not the yeah, first time. Uh, well, and I... Probably not. <laughs> but she puts you out. Yes. And you say, I'm at work, so why lie? Well, if she's I, so, that good, you might as well just... To avoid a heated argument, because that day that argument was heated, and we, it was all about I'm being accused of cheating once again. Ah. So this I, is like a nonstop, every day, every week thing for me. She doesn't understand how much she means to me. She was like... The first woman, because my last ex... Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you get ready to drag me down a rabbit hole I'm not really interested in. Because well, what you another. told me doesn't make sense. So, 
What else do you believe is true? Well, I have another one. We're sitting in the dining room um, in the house, phone's ringing. He's not answering the phone. Um, that's not like him. He would easily normally answer. Um, so I get curious. I'm like, so why are you not answering your phone? Oh, it's just my family member. And I'm like, okay. And, um, but it was like several phone calls. So From I... From that family member? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So can you it... see the name on the phone? Yes, I okay. can. Okay. And is, it, is that a family member's name? Yes, it is. Okay. But when I'm... I go to call the number back, um, lo and behold, there's a female on the other end. And it is not his family member. Okay, and that was my next member, question. The family member was a male. It was a male's number. But then when I pick up on the other end, it's a female. Naturally, I'm like, well, who are you? And she's like, happened. well, he reached out to me. He was trying to get in contact with me. Um, they were talking about they were supposed to meet up um, in New York City, but that never happened. Not, all those plans were through. She said she was married. She had a husband. She's telling you all this? Yeah, but it doesn't make sense was when I look through the call log and I see that they've spoke several times, even sometimes at length, um, if she's Hello, married and has a up. husband, why are you guys chit-chatting? What possibly could you be talking about? What did you say to him? Um, well, he said it was from before when we were split up. But we, uh, we're, we're together, and she's, it's recent phone calls, so it can't no, be when you were... No, that's not true. Okay. Right, so, Mr. Bisnoff, All right, so... let's, take, let's take this in chunks. I want to stay right here All with... Right. You had a phone number saved in your phone yep. uh, with a male family member's name, yes. but the number of a woman who's not a family member. That is correct. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Who is this woman to you? Right, and what so kind of relationship did you have with her? This girl's a friend from a while back when I, in my childhood. So what happened, at the time we were separated, I had put something on social media that I can't believe I'm being accused of cheating every day in my life, blah, blah, blah. So she actually gave me her phone number on social media, and I called her. I haven't seen her in over 20-something years, haven't heard from her. She Mr. She... Bisnoff, you're taking me the long way. Why did you put it in your phone under the name of a family member? Right, Male so family member. At the time, we were separated, and I didn't want her to know and that I was talking with her. Okay, thank but you. I did talk that to her. That was the short answer. You yes. were talking to her, yeah. you didn't want and her to know, right? And she tried to convince me to come down to New York City, visit her, oh. but I never did. So why else do you think he's cheating? While putting away the laundry, I came across a shirt that had another female's name on it. And I'm asking him, whose shirt is this? Where did this shirt come from? Because you didn't recognize it. No. It wasn't your shirt. No. And this is in with his laundry. Yes. <laughs> OK. So, right, so she confronts you about it. And what yes. do you say? So what happened was, my family member went and did laundry. So as she's putting the clothes away, she comes across the shirt and right off the rip starts saying, oh, this is the girl you're messing with. This is the girl you're... Whose shirt was it? I don't know. All right, so you're saying a family member messed yeah. up, put somebody else's shirt in your laundry and it happened. got mixed the, up? The shirt has nothing to do with me. All right, that's, that's one story. So, Ms. Scott, let me ask you this. If you find out he is cheating, what does that mean for your relationship? I'm upset. It's not fair, and, you know, I shouldn't have to go through this because this has been going on too long. It's been a lot of back and forth. It's been, no, I didn't, yes, you did, uh, no, I didn't, yes, I did, and I just need a uh, answer today. You have a <laughs> decade into this relationship. Yes. That's a long time. That's a long time. Mr. Bisnoff. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, your relationship is at stake. Yes, it is. Because she says she can't continue this way. She has to be able to trust you 24-7. I, I totally understand, and... I want her to know that I love her and I've never cheated on her. And I don't have nothing to hide. So, like, at the end of this whole thing, when it comes out that I am telling the truth the whole time, it's like, I don't know what to do with the pain now that I've suffered all these years of everyday accusations and all this cheating. So you're saying you're in pain with all these accusations? Yeah. Yep. All right. So you need the pain to stop. You yes. need the accusations to stop. Especially the point when she was first pregnant with my first son. She offered just to have my kid. It was like... I don't know. It just changed everything. My perspective at life and everything. And All for right. her to think that, after I explained to her how much everything meant to me, it still hurts up to this point. Well... well you came here to get some answers, and we're going to help you find those answers. Mm -hmm. This court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call certified cyber expert Gus Dimitrellis and certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> 
round of applause for the gentleman in. Gentlemen. Got two. Good day, gentlemen. How are you all? It's Ron, Your Honor. How are hey, you? Your Honor. It's good to see you. You too. Mr. Dimitrellis, would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I am a certified cyber expert and retired Secret Service agent serving under two presidential administrations in the area of technical security and electronic crimes. Now, tell us what you did to investigate this case. I conducted a thorough forensic examination on Mr. Biznas's cell phone. The examination recovers pictures, videos, chats, internet history, even if they're deleted. In this case, I was specifically asked to look for any evidence of cheating by Mr. Bizdoth. So did you find any communication related to cheating? I did, Your Honor. Oh. What, what did you find? Mr. Bizdoth was communicating with unknown women using Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, texting apps, which we call burner apps. Was there anything that you found that was of interest? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me about that. Mr. Bizoth was receiving graphic pictures from women, usually by his request. Okay. And specifically on his phone, I located four pictures of the same woman. Oh. A scantily clad blonde woman. She'll tell you where they came from. It has nothing to do with me. She'll go on like dating websites and I buy have done that. I and have... try to talk to people. No. She'll go on my Facebook. And it's funny he brought that up because we anything, were just talking that about one this. It was me investigating, um, going through his phone. I searched the number that kept calling that he was calling, and it came up to that female. And it was and this an was... escort service, and then um, it was her pictures for her profile. So it was so... the same blonde yes. woman four times. And I got okay, wait, 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 wait. Right. Hold on. For Before me? you tell me what the problem okay. is, I got a question. All right. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Have you contacted an escort service? No. Oh, that number, one of my family member in our household had this number. So after 90 days, the number changed. Once she accused me of saying that was an escort service, I called the number, and it's a 12-year-old kid on the other line. And he said he only had the number for a week. So I was explaining to her that this number was being recycled all the time. The information he has is right. I have no li nothing to lie about. Okay. So, but you but, still maintain you're not yeah, cheated. I'm not a cheater. All right. Well, this court did a further investigation, <clears throat> and Mr. Lawrence, you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Biznoth. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Biznoth, during your relationship with Ms. Scott, other than when you were on a break, did you have sexual intercourse with any woman other than Ms. Scott? What was his response to that question? He said, no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. <laughs> Ms. Scott, you're yes. standing there, the tears running down your face. What do those tears represent? Part of me wanted to believe... Yeah, we need to take that back over. ...that I was wrong. I'm done. Get Don't be done here. now. Don't give up now. Oh, that's crap. Straight up. Ron, can you check and see if Mr. Biznoth will come back? Yes, Sean. So, I'm just disappointed. Because there was a flicker of hope. Just yeah. a flicker of hope that what you had been feeling and experiencing wasn't true. Right. That he wouldn't do that. Right. All right, I would like to say something. I want to apologize for walking out, but I would like to take that test over right now. Again, because that is impossible. I've never, ever been with any other woman or talked to anyone as she was telling you. I've never done it. I'm willing to take that test right now, right here. And, and when we were doing the test, he kept telling me that I'm controlling my breathing. Like, I breathe heavy. Oh, is that true? Did, was there a conversation about his deep breathing? We had that conversation several times, Your Honor. Control breathing is considered one of the countermeasures of polygraph. And what is a countermeasure? When somebody's trying to purposely distort the charts. He probably Googled it and figured out what he could do. To what and he so, you you when you phone, told him not to that? do that, you were trying to make sure that he, wa he wasn't um, interfering with the results of the polygraph. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> no, I don't, <laughs> even, I don't even have... I'm done. Thank you. I'm gonna catch my flight and go home.
You all have been a couple for five years, but married three of those five years. And Miss McElfresh, you thought you had found the perfect younger man, that he was your dream. That dream has become a nightmare. Tell me why you've opened this case. There's a 23 years age difference between us. And um, I think that he's been cheating on me, Your Honor. And I also uh, can no longer have children. And I think he's trying to find a younger woman to have a child with. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, ma'am. I mean, a five years that went down the drain for nothing if, he, if he's not being truthful. I went, I've, I've gave him my back. I mean, I fought against my family members, his family members, because of our age difference. And told him it's none of their business stay out of my marriage. Okay, Mr. McElfresh. You found this charming older woman and she's now saying you're looking for new, younger women. Is this true? Your Honor, I love my wife. Uh, I'm not, have not cheated on my wife. But you don't think that she believes you? Oh, no, not at all. And you tried to convince her? Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, what else is there to do? You've done everything you can think of. Everything. We're at couples court. Okay. okay. <laughs> Right. The final frontier, huh? Yeah, I, 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 got, I, know, I know you want to ask, and I want to ask. So, how did you how did you snag such a young man? <laughs> where where were you? Where did y'all meet? Yeah. Well, it was. I mean, it was it was love at first sight for me. My deceased husband, he died um, about I'll say about five years ago. He had um, colon cancer. Okay. okay. And uh, Stephen was a home caregiver. He helped take care of my husband. We, well, nothing went on to way after my husband had passed away. Okay. I respected my husband that way. <laughs> got it, got it. But my husband knew of Stephen. <clears throat> okay. And so he had a talk with Stephen. He said, as long as you treat Rita good, I am okay with you being with her. Okay. Oh, so he knew this was going to yes, happen. Yes, he knew. And then there was no stopping. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So who proposed to who? I proposed to him. Well, actually, we was uh we was going to amusement park and we was on a roller coaster and we was going up. She was getting a little scared. I was like, <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. And she's like, will you marry me? And you know, I was on a roller coaster. Yes. And yes, then as we as we as we were going down, I was like, yes, I will. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Kelly, we're going up on the roller coaster, and now we're on the downside of this thing. Oh, yeah. Tell me what went wrong. He's not as affectionate and loving as he used to be. Okay. I mean, he jumps right in the shower, hides his laundry. I mean, I've done his laundry for five years straight, and now he doesn't want me to do it anymore? What's up with that? Okay. okay. It's not It's not the old days. It's not Little House on the Prairie. I don't have to, you know, kiss every time you come and go. I have my own ways of showing an affection for her. I was just trying to cut her some slack, you know? I mean, she she does do a lot. So um, you, this was you putting in, putting in some extra effort right. to support her? I, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so he shouldn't be criticized for that. I mean, do you know how many women would love for their husbands yes. to do a load of laundry? I do. Oh. Mr. Okay. Keller does the laundry, so I'm like, yes, I do. And I okay. don't... I... Yeah. And it's not, a, it's not a recent thing. No, it's yeah. not a recent okay. thing. Okay, all right. So, I mean, women would love for men to do th more things around the house. But one of the huge warning signs that we always hear about is a change in sexual activity. Have you seen a change in your sex life? Yes, ma'am. I actually had went around and bought sexual 90s. Oh, to wear for wow. Him. Okay. And even thong so underwear. Up, thong underwear. And thong underwear that he likes. And, you... and don't even show no interest in it. We used to have uh, sexual intercourse four times a week, and now it's down to one time a week. Um, and if we... a woman's wearing a thong for you, that, that's a lot, because they're not comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I, so I've heard. <laughs> so you've heard? So I've heard. So... Mr. McElfresh, has it gone from four times a week to one? Uh, no. He is lying through his teeth. So you're saying it's one time and you're like, it hadn't been a change. If I get it once time a week, Your Honor. He yeah. is lying. He don't even remember. Have you tried to spice things up? I mean, obviously yes. you've, I you've mean, done that. It, it was his, uh, you know, he brought it up. We've even had threesomes together. And, and the other person is more interested in me than my own husband is interested in me. 
Oh. Okay, Mr. Maga Fresh, I mean, she's stepping up to the plate. She's buying <laughs> lingerie. <laughs> she's got thongs. About time. And she is, yeah. I mean, she's, you know, invited somebody else to kind of spice it up. Yeah. That's, that's, not, that's not doing it for you? No comment. Well, here's the thing, because <laughs> I think her thought is, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, if all of this is not getting you going, then somebody else must be getting you going. Yeah. And so yeah. I think that's you the issue. You Your Honor. So, I mean, is this somebody else getting you going? Because all this yeah. isn't working. Apparently. No, Your Honor, there is not. You still, you, you maintain? I, I'm still. There's nobody else. No, nobody else. And that's not the reason that your sex life is decreased. No, Your Honor. Ms. Michael Fresh, yes, go ahead. Um, he also, he's very sneaky and hide about his phone. He's never had a lock code. We share a phone together. Okay. And also, I looked in it one day when he uh, left it unlocked in the bedroom, <laughs> went to the kitchen to get something to drink. He had, uh, I looked at it, and he was on a site. You, su you submitted this to the yeah, court, is that correct? It. I'm sorry. Yes, I did. Let's take a look. So this is him responding to an ad, is that correct? Yes, it says, looking for a couple or a male. OK. <laughs> and it says, hey. Yeah, from him. Hey, hey. I was just being friendly. I was just talking to someone. What did you think this couple was looking for? Uh, I yeah. mean, it doesn't necessarily mean sex. He's full of it, Your Honor. So you, but you're saying you're just being friendly, and you're saying, nope, this it's is proof that he's doing messages. something. Or maybe to get some more people over for a threesome, right? That's, she admitted it already. Yeah. But it didn't go any further than that. Ms. Malcolm Fresh, would you have been open to that if that's what he was looking for? No, because I would not, because, uh, we're very, uh, choosy. I mean, uh, the person we had a threesome with was a friend, a uh, friend. So, okay. what evidence do you have that he actually is cheating? Well, one day, my little dog, Coco, she was barking and snooping under uh, my bed. And I dragged her out from under bed. I said, Coco, what do you got in your mouth? And she had a used condom in her mouth, Your Honor. You know how a used condom is, I mean, it's kind of cloudy inside. Oh. Yeah. And I said, drop it now, Coco. I said, that's nasty. And she just dropped it out of her mouth. And I said, oh, I'm going to slap him upside face with that. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, Your Honor, we do... Wait, wait, wait. I was going to ask, do you all use condoms? We have never used a condom in five years, Your Honor. <laughs> so you don't understand why there's a condom under your bed? Yeah, I do not understand why there is a condom oh. under my bed. And, and, well, and well, on I gotta his ask, side. So, all right, all right. Just, for, just for evidentiary's sake, the dog doesn't use condoms either. No, right? she does not. Okay. No. No, right. sir. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have to exclude all the possibilities. Exclude them all, Mr. Cutler. Mr. Michael Fresh? Yeah. Why is there a used condom under your bed where you all don't use uh, condoms? We all, have friends, we all have friends over sometimes. Yeah. And someone could have just used our room. There is nobody that lays in my bed unless, they, unless it's my husband and my little dog. I have also found condoms in his nightstand when he was sleeping one night. I seemed to nose around, too. <laughs> He had a condom in his nightstand. And then he, I uh, submitted the pictures of nightstand. And then there was also one in his uh, wallet. Mr. Malcolm Fresh, okay. You all don't use condoms. Why wasn't it in your wallet? I mean, that's for when you're out. I mean, if you all are doing yeah. things at home, you have them in your nightstand. Busted. But why do you have them yeah. in your wallet as if you you're going out busted. somewhere to be with somebody else? Your dog. Mr. Malcolm Fresh? I have no answer for that. Yeah, well, I you just think don't so. want to tell the truth. But well, like I said, I never cheated on her. She knows about everything. So I know. We're gonna find everything. out today. Yes, we will today. find out the truth. All right, Miss Malcolm Fresh. Yes, sir. Do you have any other reason to believe that he's cheating? Yes. Um, oh, here we go. One one night, I woke up at two a.m. in the morning, Your Honor, and Stephen was nowhere in the apartment at all. Okay. So I got up and sit in the living room for forty-five <clears> minutes waiting for him. Here he comes scraggling in our sliding doors. And here comes a gentleman and a female behind with him that I don't even know from Adam and Eve. So she went to go use my bathroom. I'm a very clean person. I don't like nobody using my bathroom. So I went to father. I said, what do you think you're doing? She said, I'm going to use the bathroom. She said, I don't think so. I said, I think you're going to get your little hoe and <laughs> down my apartment. She okay. said, well, I, I hate to let you know, I slept with your husband, Stephen, in the park. I said, oh, you really, you did? I said, you got five seconds to get out of my apartment. And I said, I'm going to be busting you in your face, girl. 
did you say when she asked you about this lady saying you slept with her in the park? Well, Your Honor, so I was just going for a walk and, you know, clearing my head or whatever. And wow, I, was, wow. I seen these, you know, this couple, and they were a couple, they were together. And it wasn't like it was just her, she had a boyfriend or whatever. And I said, you wanna go back to, our, you know, my place or whatever, have a drink. Okay. Well, did you have sex with this woman? No, I did not, Your Honor. Did you bring them home to have sex with them? Uh, no. To have a drink? To have a drink? He's lying. At 2 in the morning? He's lying. At 2 in the morning. So you meet some people sitting in the park at 2 a.m. and you're like... Let's go home. Let's Pro go to my house and have a drink. <laughs> all right, Mr. Cullen, I, we got enough evidence. Yeah, Let's I think talk we about do. this. To get to the bottom of all this, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic cyber investigator Gus Dimitrellis to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Good day, sir. How are you? Good day, Your Honor. It's good to see you. you. You as well. Tell us, please, what you did to investigate this case. I conducted a complete forensic examination of Mr. McElfresh's mobile device. The forensic examination uncovers pictures, videos, internet history, chat, cloud data, and even if it's been deleted. Specifically, you asked me to find any evidence Mr. McElfresh was cheating. Did you find anything suspicious? I did. During my forensic examination, I discovered Mr. McElfresh visits a very well-known website to search for and reply to online hookup ads. Okay. This is the ad itself. Rest stop 50 slash seven. Looking to meet up. Let me know if you're interested. He's directing this person to come to Got the residence. It. Don't put it all on Steven. And then Mr. McElfresh replies, Come to blank apartment. That's his address. That's correct. This is his address. And you found this on his phone. I did, Your Honor. And how, how, on how, our phone. how hold on. How old was this? This was uh, this was this year. Okay. So Mr. Malcolfress? Yeah. You responded, come to our apartment. You were trying to hook up with somebody. We were. You think this was for a threesome? Yeah. Ms. McElfresh, did you know about this? Yes. No, I didn't know about all of them. All of them. There was two. Thank Bye. you, Mr. Demetrellis. You're welcome, Adam. To further investigate this case, we conducted a polygraph examination of you, Mr. McElfresh. At this time, we'll call Kendall Shull to find out, is he cheating? <laughs> How are you, Mr. Shull? Great, Your Honor. How are you? I'm good. You conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. McElfresh, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. All right. You asked Mr. McElfresh, did you use the condom your wife found under your bed for sexual intercourse with someone other than your wife? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. That's one. That's one. That's one. You also asked Mr. Michael Fresh, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman who told your wife she had sex with you in the park? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. That's not all of them. That's two. You still not convinced, Ms. Michael Fresh? No. Oh. No. Do I need to take another one? Well, we do have one more question. Okay. Are you ready? More question yes, Your Honor. That. Are you ready, Ms. McElfresh? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Okay. You asked Mr. McElfresh, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than what your wife knows about since getting married? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this question, he was also being truthful. So we gonna see you gonna see us real soon because I think she's cheating, Your Honor. <laughs> oh boy! Well, oh boy! That'd be a good one, Your Honor. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yes, yes Your Honor. All right. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McElfresh. Thank you guys so much. Well, I'm, I'm glad we were able to get some answers today. 
and I'm glad that the results show that you were not being unfaithful to your wife. But here's the thing. You keep leading her to believe that by all the things that she's finding. So if you want to make sure that this marriage works and continues, you have got to grow up. Yes, sir. Miss Macklefresh? Yes, sir. You know, you married a man half your age, yes, and sir. that's what it looks like sometimes. Yes. Yes. So you got to recognize yes. that. You got to let him, he's not going to be a 46 year old man because he's not. You all have been married and together for eight years and have five children together. Is that correct? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, Your Why do you believe your wife is cheating? I think my wife is cheating because one day I came home and I was cleaning up and I went to the closet and uh, I'm like, oh, she got us something. So I'm digging in the back of the closet and I find a bag, go in there, some sexy underwear. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, she's usually she buys stuff, shows it off. Hey, babe, I got this for us later on, blah, blah, blah. So I check the, the receipt and I'm looking at the date like this is like two, three weeks ago. And I'm like, why is it still in the closet? So I turn and I asked her and she told me she just bought it. And I'm sitting here like, you just bought it, but I'm just not, I, as the receipt say two weeks ago. We get to arguing, fighting, she get to yelling at me. So you think she's using those fancy panties for somebody else? I mean, yeah, I mean, and still had tag on it. So that means she was saving it for a special time so she can go out, wash it, go out with them. Miss Hall? It's just, I went shopping to get panties. I'm not allowed to buy new drawers. You buy new drawers. It's just me going shopping as a woman getting and I show you. particular underwear Look, babe, to entice him like with. Okay, what other reasons do you think she's cheating? Yeah. All right, well, I'm very, I'm very good with my cleaning. My house smells like potpourri. I got air wick spraying everywhere. It smells good. So, and I smell good. So when I come in the house and I go in my bathroom and I smell uh, musty private Part smelling like you done had them, you done had a guy up in my house or something. Cause I, I mean, I wouldn't know. I, I, I get on my porch, somebody knocks on my door and probably leaves 20 minutes later for the neighbors. I step on the porch and be like, who's over here? Who's standing here? Wait, so you, you smell wait, cologne. Wait. You're saying I your nose cologne or something. So. Your nose is good enough that you can. I mean, smell. my house is that clean where if it ain't linen fresh. And then I asked her about it. She said, oh, that was the cable guy. And he asked, can he use the washroom? Well, I'm like, well, you know my rules. No men in my house and no one using my washroom. OK, so you talking about not even service men can come use I mean, the yeah, but if he got to use the washroom, he can go outside. So you just right, think so, it was another man in your house yeah, with your yeah. wife? Yeah. It was the cable man. He asked, can I please use the bathroom? I can't hold it. I was like, yes, sir, it's right there. Go ahead. You know, he has to use the bathroom. And no other men? No other men at all. OK, what other reasons do you think she's cheating? Yeah. The one time she denied me about sex was actually like two or three times. First of all, you a horn dog. Two days go by without us having sex, you flipping out on me and the kids. It wasn't like on the regular, but hey, me? No? That don't make sense. So if she's denying you, then that means there's something else going on yeah. with somebody else. Well, you know, they say that uh, that's yeah. one of the clues, Cutler, is that when someone changes their sexual patterns, that there's, there is support that they might be cheating. So I can understand why he thinks that. Your Honor, can I say one more thing, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. Since he cheated on me, we've been button heads. We can't see eye to eye on anything. And it's like, I feel, I still feel that same anger and hurt that I felt two years ago when he cheated. And it's like, everything's starting to come back. Like, the flirting with the same lady that he cheated on me with, like, she's in the picture, it's his baby mother. She's not going anywhere. What happened in the past? He, four months after we got married, by the way, he cheated on me. Four months, Four months? into your marriage? Mm hmm Okay, what happened? Uh, well, we was, we was going through a eviction thing and I had to move in with my mother and my children. So I was staying with them, he was staying with his friend, and that's when the cheating started. But how did you find out? What happened? I was coming to pick my son up to take him to his grandmother's. And he told me out the blue, he was like, J uh, Jasmine was just over here. And I'm like, what you mean? She stayed the night with dad. And I was like, really? So four months into your relationship, into your marriage, you're back with your ex? I was living with, no, I got a roommate. Me and my guy got one of our, uh, uh, another place together, turned into a little party house for a minute. And she was with her mother, so it was like, opportunity. You were on vacation. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, you, all had you... To, you all had to find somewhere else to stay. She went 
and stay with her mother with the kids, you and your buddy got a place that you all turned into a bachelor pad, basically. Yeah. See, it's funny how, see, he could do whatever he want to do and hurt me and all this, and I never did one thing to hurt my husband. I love him. I've been with him eight years. He's the only one I want. How'd you get up over that? You know what? That's why I think all the arguments are still going on and I'm being so confrontational because I'm not over. And now that now I got to come yeah. to the conclusion if I want to stay in this marriage or if I want to go. So you think he's still cheating with his ex? Yes. Why? Well, like when she called, he's going in the room closing doors. He's bringing her name up when we're in conversation about something totally different. It's like she just keep getting thrown in my face. So she just lingering over She's just lingering marriage. around. Well, she's seen this movie before. She knows how it plays yeah, out. Uh -huh. You've seen this, you've seen his behavior, uh -huh. and now you're seeing that all I'm over just again. It's like I'm getting a, a repeat. But what else is going on? What else is Like Valentine's there? Day. Let me bring up Valentine's Day, for instance. Um, me and her was going back and forth over him. She messaged him at 1 o'clock in the morning while he was still at work, asking what he's doing. And I said, why are you messaging my husband? You know he works late. Like, what do you want? She want to meet up with him, I guess, Hotel room, strawberries, and have the whole romantic night with my. Oh, husband. what? At one o'clock in the morning on Valentine's Day. One o'clock. Well, I'm waiting. On. I'm on. I'm on my computer, waiting for my husband to get home, like I do, like I always do. And boom, I see her messaging. Why is your ex even in the picture on Valentine's Day if I you're don't... married? All right, now this is my baby mama. I don't know why she was even. Yeah, I was at work, so all this going on between them two, that's something they need to resolve, because I ain't... No, 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 you, no, Mr. Hall, no, you're not getting off like that. Your wife understood that this woman was the mother of your child, so she expected to have to share you in, in terms of you being the father. Fatherhood, that's fine, not your manhood. And that's what she's trying to get to. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've had an ex. Yes, it has. And you're saying... <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying, yes, you messed up in the past, but currently you're not. I know good and well if some ex texted me, Facebooked me, did anything on Valentine's Day, this one is going through the roof. Yeah. And, take and I better run for cover. Wait a minute, I'm gonna so, take you with me. I can't control so, another the... person's movements. If she decides to get on the phone right now and send her pictures, it's my fault. I can't but stop see, the if you encouraging he it, and that's the I part I'm trying to get you. He can't put her in her place. I, got, I don't even have to call the girl I'm... about the child. All right, it's... here's the thing. If you put her in her place, she would stop it, because she know it ain't no chance in the world. And that's what you haven't done, because you kind of like it. Right. It's like he's not taking responsibility because he's told me that he can't be in the same room with her for a certain amount of time without wanting to have sex with her. And I'm like... Isn't that me being responsible? I'm being self-aware of the situation. I'm saying, look, babe, so I know that we have a certain chemistry, so I don't want to be put in that situation. But it's one thing to have <laughs> sexual chemistry when you're in a relationship. It's another to say, you still make me hot. That's a whole nother animal. I mean, it's no different than what she still make you hot? on TV and she said, oh, he's hot. Wait, I wait. Couldn't be in the same room with the no. actor. Okay, no. Okay, Mr. Hall. Yeah, yeah but she, she has never had a relationship with that actor on TV. Him. Exactly. That so isn't that somebody real. We're talking about intense. somebody real. If you and your ex have extended alone time together, you still get hot for her. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> when was the last time you were with your ex alone? Last time I was with my ex alone was when that whole thing happened a couple years ago. So you're okay. selling this court, you have not had sex with your ex since two years ago. Since two years ago. They don't act like that... with all the flirting and the going in the room, closing doors. You think something's going I on. I know something is. Well, there's his side, there's her side, and there's the ex's side. And she's here. <laughs> Ron, would you please escort her in, please? Yes, Sean. My name is Jasmine McCurry. Ms. McCurry, what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Hall? We used to date nine years ago, which today, as of now, we co-parent. Have you been intimate with Mr. Hall since he's been married? The time that she knows about, that's the only time that I, I have been intimate with her husband. Tell me how this came to pass that you ended up sleeping with Mr. Hall after he was married. Well, he led me to believe that they wasn't together. So, uh -oh. that's why. And so, he goes that he can do whatever he wants, but she allows it, or she believes whatever she wants 
Whatever he told her. I didn't allow so, anything. But so, he led it, you to believe yeah. that he was not... He was separated... Yes. ...from his wife. Yes. And so, based on that, you all hooked up. Yeah. You talking about the time when you popped up when I was there and you was acting like you was dropping your son off when you was really coming to see him? That's the time you talking about? Yes. Yeah. You know, Mr. Hall, when she walked in, I saw your body language change. Mm-hmm. Your, your whole... You repositioned your body. That's his muse, he says. Ooh. I didn't say that's that what, now. That's, that's what not... he says. But that's what It's like you can I bring her up to me now. and disrespect me. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm getting tired. Well, you allow him to disrespect you. I don't disrespect I don't allow you. nobody to disrespect me, honey. I don't. I, I don't. don't, even, but I, don't I don't deserve any disrespect on any level from you. I deserve more respect. Right. Miss McMurray. Okay. Mr. Hall has testified that he can't even be in the room with you for an extended period of time. That he is... It's that much chemistry between you. Does he ever do anything inappropriate? Um, I mean, when we are together, everyone, I mean, she might turn her back. We might be a little bit too close as far as he might be trying to touch up on me. Just get real close. Try to hug. And you're not doing those things no. to him. No, ma'am. And you're not pushing up on him. No, I'm lying. But he's yeah. trying to push up on you. Yeah. Do you believe that if you would allow it... It would, yeah, that he it would, would That it would happen? Yep. He would sleep See, with what... you? If, if I would allow it, yes. Mr. Hall. <laughs> Are you pushing up on her? Pushing up on her booty? No! <laughs> you know, when she comes over... What do y'all do? Y'all don't stay inside our house. Y'all have to walk down the stairs and go all the way in the front while I can't see. Well, you, you decide not to walk with me. We, I Why walk. do I have to do all that? I should be able to then, trust and, you, right? Then, then, then you should be able to trust when I'm walking up to the car. That's all I'm doing. Right. Now, Miss Hall. Yes, Your Honor. He's got some concerns about you. I mean, we're talking about him, but he's got some concerns about you. Exactly. You're d- denying him sex. You're buying sexy panties. They... You know, they're not being used for his benefit. Mm. He apparently has this great sense of smell and the house smells like I take care... I have seven children in my house, okay? I have eight-month-old twins. I have a two-year-old. I have a four-year-old. I have a five-year-old. I have a nine-year-old. I have a 13-year-old. What man could come in my house and do anything with all my kids? You think I'm the type of mother that's gonna have other men around my children and disrespect my house? I'm not gonna do that. Well, to get to the bottom of this, the court has had both of you undergo a polygraph examination. Ron, could you please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Good day, Mr. Eccles. How are you? Fine, Your Honor. How are you doing? Right. Good. Your team performed a polygraph examination on both Mr. and Mrs. Hall, correct? Yes, Your Honor, we did. And you have the results for both? Yes, I do. Let's start with the results for... Mrs. Hall's polygraph examination. Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. Hall was asked, since being married to Mr. Hall, have you had sexual intercourse with any man other than him? What was her response? Your Honor, her response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. (laughs) Mr. Hall, she has not been with any other man. What are you thinking? Well, I guess I gotta apologize. I'm sorry. But, you know, you get so much things piling up on you. Like they say, you can be the cause of your own fear, so... Well, uh, here it is. You've apologized for accusing her. Do you need to apologize for any other behaviors of yours? Before we get to your results. I told you, I'm cool. I can... You're good. I'm good. All right. Let's go to his results. Mr. Hall was asked, other than the one time in 2015 that your wife is aware of, have you had sexual intercourse with Miss McMurray? What was his answer? Your Honor, his answer was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Sorry. Wow. I, I oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. You're happy to hear that, I presume? I am. Ex- yes, I'm ecstatic <laughs> to hear that. Mm-hmm. All right. And there was one last question. Mr. Hall was asked, other than the one time in 2015 that your wife is aware of, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? 
The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Miss All, he said he didn't have anything to worry about, and it shows he was being truthful. He did not have sexual intercourse with anyone other than the time that you know about. Yes, Your Honor, I guess it was my past, the past insecurities, the fear, me, I guess, I just got to my head. So, you came here for answers, both of you, and you found out that you, you all are in this marriage. You're doing the right thing. 